Professor Tosh Hans Hansson, you're a member of the Nobel Committee for Physics and you just presented the Nobel Prize of this year. It is about exotic matter in the quantum world. So my first question would be, what is this exotic matter? Well, exotic is not a precise scientific term. Exotic is something that expresses our wonder. Our wonder in front of something that is very unusual, very hard to understand. And I think also that has to be seen historically. What is exo exotic for us now might not be so exotic in 20 or 30 years. I guess, you know, electricity was very exotic when it first came around. It's not so exotic any longer. But today, the the, the basis of matter, I guess we come to that, that uh, is at the basis of this year's prize is really exotic, yes. And this matter, exotic matter, is also in the quantum world. So who is this quantum world? Well, the quantum world uh, is in a sense all around us. But quantum effects are not always very obvious to see. But when you cool down materials to very low temperature, then in many cases, quantum effects becomes very much more uh, visible, uh, more apparent. And then I have another exotic question, perhaps. <laughs> we have this bagel, and you had also a cinnamon roll. What do they do in this Nobel Prize context? Oh. Well, <laughs> They, they are actually there to illustrate something. And to illustrate that is not sufficient to just show the bagel. But I anticipated this question, so I brought also the bun. So you see, when you have both the bun and you have the bagel, then you can see that the difference is that the bagel has a hole and the bun doesn't. And the important with the hole is that also things like taste or shape or deformation can change continuously. But the number of holes, which is something that we call the topological invariant, it can only change like integers. One, two, three, zero. This is zero holes, this has one hole. I challenge you to imagine what is a half a hole. What is a what would be to have half a hole? You cannot have half a hole. You need zero, one, two. And these this fact that you have integers that are of topological nature that's intimately connected to the effects and the description of these phases that is at the basis of the price. And topology is uh, kind of advanced mathematics and uh, has a key role in this Nobel Prize of the year. <laughs> uh, what, what, uh, what was the role of topology? Well, uh, the role of topology is, uh, there are many roles of topology actually. One role of topology is that these so-called topological invariants, I took the example, the number of holes, actually directly gets into the mathematical description of these phases. Now, it is, takes advanced mathematics to write a formula that counts the number of holes in a donut or calculates that there is zero hole in a cinnamon bun. That's advanced mathematics, but to understand the concept that this is one hole, that is zero hole, that anyone can understand. And that is actually the important thing for, for the basic result. So what were the discoveries of this year's laureates? It was theoretical discoveries that we should remember. And it also illustrates in a very nice way the interplay between physics and mathematics, uh, which where theoretical physics is in the uh, actual at the, at, uh, at the crossroad. Because the quantum Hall effect, which was the starting point for David Powell's understanding of it as a topological effect. There was an experiment that was already done and he explained the experiment using these topological invariants. While in another case, the case of Duncan Haldane, who predicted certain properties of uh, uh, of other topological states, actually chains of magnetic atoms, and also something similar to the quantum Hall effect, but without the magnetic field. That was theoretical 
uh, discoveries that predicted effects that was later seen in experiment. In one case, actually 25 years later, and it took much more advanced experimental techniques to do it. Were there very surprising experiments, or did they expect that it will come? Uh, in many cases, when you have a theoretical possibility, since there is so much variety in experiments you can do, in materials, in experimental setups, in many, many cases you come up with a case where it's actually realized. You cannot say for sure, but experiments, experience shows that that happens very often. So that's of course very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what are the possible applications of this exotic topological matter in the future? Uh, I can just tell you what people are dreaming about, but also working very hard in the labs to do. And that is to get new materials which has, you know, interesting pro properties of conducting electricity but also conducting other things like what is called spin and the dream is that this can be used for carry information uh, it also has quantum mechanical properties something that is called entanglement that makes people hope that perhaps you can use these things to code quantum information in an efficient way. So who knows, you know, there might be a future quantum computer where topological effects are important. We, we don't know, but I, I, I certainly know people are speculating about this. Um, can you tell us a little about the laureates? Uh, the prize is awarded half to David Taulas and half to uh, Duncan Haldane and Michael Kosterwitz. Can you explain this division? Yeah. Uh, there are two parts in the, uh, uh, in the citation. Topological phases and topological phase transitions. That is how you go in between them. And David Taulis has given important contributions to both of them. Uh, to topological phase transitions together with David Taulis and to topological phases, he did this important work and there later Holtain did also very important work. So David Powellus has a share in both these parts of the citation. That's why he gets 50%. Thank you very much for taking your time. Thank you. Thank you.